Two Khmer warriors with physiques carved from mahogany square off to do battle. They wear shorts and armbands like boxers, but also wear colored krama around their waist and head to delineate rank. Blue throws a roundhouse shin kick fight fans are familiar with. Green drops to his knees, catches the leg between his forearms, hyperextends the knee and drags Blue to the ground. Like a monkey climbing a tree, Green scales the prostrate body of his opponent. He holds the head with the one hand and smashes the elbow into Blue's jaw, ending the fight. Two more fighters step into the circle. This one ends with one fighter using his claw-like hands to rip the throat out of the loser. This is not Khmer boxing, Brodal Saray. And no, the Ultimate Fighting Championships have not reached Phnom Penh. In fact, this is nothing new. It's Bokator, the ancient Khmer martial art depicted in carvings on the walls of Angkor Wat. While the rift between Thailand and Cambodia over who invented kickboxing may never be settled, Bokator is a unique and lethal martial art which no one can lay claim to but the Khmers. Since 2004, the Grand Master has been teaching Bokator to a new generation of Khmer young people. The Grand Master says, the ancient martial art that belongs to us is called Bokhtar. It is the top, the strongest martial art, and I give it to the young people to feel proud and to let them know that flowing through their bodies is the blood of the Khmer Angkor Empire. In the old days, martial arts were kept secret. The masters had very few students. They would only teach you if you were a good person, and they always held a little back. As a result, the art was on the path to extinction even before the Pol Pot regime. During Pol Pot, the Khmer Rouge tried to find every martial arts master and kill them. Then during the Vietnamese regime which followed, it was illegal to practice martial arts. Grandmaster Sam Kim Sain, after surviving Pol Pot, had to flee Cambodia when someone turned him in to the Vietnamese authorities for teaching martial arts. After more than 15 years in the United States teaching Hap Ki Do, Grandmaster Sam Kim Sain came back to Cambodia to revive the martial art of his ancestors. He searched all over Cambodia for other masters who had survived, but found less than 10. Now the Bok Tour Club in Phnom Penh is thriving with classes taking place every hour from morning till evening, six days per week. In the old days, students specialized. They decided if they wanted to learn wrestling or kickboxing or stick fighting or knife fighting. But the master knows he doesn't have this luxury. His goal is to create as many teachers as he can. He knows he has to teach every single technique to every student so that the art will survive after he is gone. There are more than 10,000 techniques in modern Bogota divided into forms or series of movements based on animals. លោកគ្រូតាតាបានស្រាវជ្រាវពីសត្វធម្មជាតិរុក្ខជាតិតែងតែមានរបស់ការពារខ្លួនជាណិចដូចជាសត្វតោខ្លាតែងតែមានជង
The instructors have to learn to demonstrate, explains the master. When people say, show me your art, they must have something to show. And show they can. Advanced students can spin a fighting staff so fast that it can barely be seen. They continue to spin, leaping in the air with the deadly weapon, orbiting their bodies, passing the spinning staff from hand to hand. They are as adept at using the left hand as the right. But this is only for the show. The real fighting is different. Although students are taught to fight from every distance, the real power of Bokata is at extremely close range. The punches and elbow strikes are designed and practiced from a distance of only three inches. The master's arms are completely relaxed. Hang <laughs> ដូច្នេះក្នុងការហាត់រៀនក្បាច់គុណយើងត្រូវហាត់ចម្រើនកម្លាំងធាតុដោយប្រើដង្ហើមចេញចូលឲ្យសរសៃឈាមយើងរត